The Elder Scrolls Oblivion first appears as a warm, high fantasy haven for RPG enthusiasts, boasting a lush and vibrant setting, full of wonder with its places to explore and equally inviting people to meet. This is a holdup. Hand it over or die. Yet, inevitably, players realized beneath Oblivion's quirky and shiny veneer lies a seedy underbelly which in today's video, we will lift its proverbial rock to see what scuttles out from underneath with the five creepiest locations in the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Chapter 5 Thane Thane is a small ruin located slightly north of New Sheoth, inhabited by a group of heretics who worship an unholy being known as Giyub. In 3E433, the heretics here were preparing for an obscure ceremony that they called the Rebirth, for which they needed a large amount of quote-unquote volunteers to be sacrificed by dangling them over the pit of Fane, reciting a prayer to Giyub and dropping them into the pit to their deaths. Interestingly, this unseemly moor is the longest fall in the entire game. The beauty of this unsettling settlement is that there is no evidence of Giyub's existence. The sacrifices were likely eaten by the many Scalons which lived in the root caves at the bottom of the pit, as evidenced by the trio ready to feed. Although there are corpses and a slight tear in the earth beneath the pit, as if some eldritch horror lies below. Clipping through this shows nothing, and it seems like a dark mirror to Hack Dirt's Deep One's quest, as the most probable cause of Giyub's acolytes is that Fane is more of a satirical take on the madness of cults, willing to sacrifice to a god that may or may not exist, and the bizarre rituals they undertake with such zealotry, no doubt pleasing the mad god Sheogorath to no end, knowing that their sacrifices were for naught. Chapter 4 Kulat Kulat is an alien ruin southeast of the Imperial City, nestled in the arm of the Upper Nibbon Bay. But don't let the name fool you. Unlike the French word culotte, meaning panties, there is nothing sexy about this location. In fact, once entering the ruin in search of alien artifacts, two things become immediately apparent. One, the ruin is much smaller than most alien ruins in Cyrodiil, and two, it is completely deserted save a maze-like structure that leads ever lower into its belly, where the player finds it is an abandoned crypt, with each tomb etched in the wall, empty. In the main burial chamber, the mist hangs thick above a myriad of slabs where the dead have all but vanished. It's only when the player finally finds the alien treasure and turns to leave do they learn that the dead had never left but instead were lying in wait, and leveled zombies set upon you to reclaim their disturbed artifact and add another fresh victim to the ever-growing army of the undead. <sighs> Chapter 3 Dive Rock Dive Rock is a mountain northeast of Chadenhall. It is home to a simple campsite and, on a clear day, one of the most spectacular views in the province. However, the campsite appears empty, and a journal from a Nord couple, one being the chieftain of Thirsk Mead Hall and his wife, reveals they were haunted by the memory of the Udefrichte and of a possibility of future attacks. So to rid themselves of nightmares and fears, Svenja felt driven to slay the mother of all Udefrichtes the Udafrichter matron. Hearing of a horrible creature near Dive Rock, Agnar and Svenja then travel there. In the final diary entry, we learn Agnar the Unwavering had just wavered, and fled after his and Svenja's attack on the Udafrichter matron had failed miserably. Agnar was about to head back and avenge his wife's death, but, well, Agnar's corpse is found nearby, and Svenja's bones are found within the matron's gullet, so be warned if you feel like avenging the Nord couple. This hulking, invisible troll barreling down upon you is not something to be taken lightly, especially on higher difficulties. <clears throat> oh. Chapter 2 
Chapel Slaughter. Oblivion boasted some pretty creepy content in its DLC's introductions, such as the strange door to the Shivering Isles appearing in the Nibbon and loosing its deranged residents. Why? Everything is wrong! It can't be done! Stay away from me! Or the payment screen to purchase horse armor. But none are as shocking as the introduction to Knights of the Nine. The blood of the Bella's slaughtered acolyte cries out for vengeance! VENGEANCE! Who will take up this holy crusade? When traveling Cyrodiil, rumors swirl about a ghastly attack on the chapel and anvil. I wouldn't go in there unless you have a strong stomach. Worse yet, the rumored attacker was an ancient enemy, Umaril, the Aeliad Sorcerer King, famously defeated by the champion Pelina Whitestrake ages ago. Umaril's prophesied return sees him in an unprecedented move butcher the adherents of Debella in Anvil, all women. To add insult to injury, he has their bodies strewn about the temple in a mocking display, writing his curse to the gods in the poor women's blood. Chapter 1 Paradise during the main quest, when battling the absolute onslaught of Mythic Dawn Acolytes, one of the consistent catchphrases uttered by Mehrun's Dagon's followers when felled is, Paradise awaits me. With the cult's ranks consisting mainly of misfits and miscreants, which I cover in my Every Sleeper Agent for the Mythic Dawn cult video, one could be forgiven for pitting its recruits and joining the cult, believing that they would be well rewarded for their service in the afterlife. During the main quest, when the player has emerged from the portal to Mankar Cameron's Gaia Alata, the sky is unique and everything is picturesque, and it truly seems to live up to its name, Paradise. However, things take a turn from the worst. As we enter the Forbidden Grotto, a medium-sized cave inhabited by Daedra, Dramora, and Mythic Dawn agents, this is where the Ascended Immortals, or the Mythic Dawn followers, who are deemed ungrateful for their gift of everlasting life, are sent to be tortured by Daedra for all eternity. No matter how you feel about the Mythic Dawn recruits' actions in life, watching the poor fool suffer being caged and dipped in into hot lava, only to die over and over again is a terrible fate to have met. Watch out! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more dark lore. Mm.